All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're familiar with JLo, and honestly, who isn't familiar with JLo? If you're familiar with JLo, she does say that it takes somebody that can do a ton of work and is not afraid to be working harder than everybody else. When everybody's sleeping, they're doing more. When everybody's um, waking up in the morning, they're doing more. Not, I don't believe you should get up early if you're staying up late all the time or whatever. You should get sleep, of course, good sleep. But, but they do say you, know, you sleep a long, long time and you sleep for hours. Uh, throughout your life, you'll live longer. But, um, but yeah, so she says that you have to work very hard and you have to be someone that's willing to do things that nobody else does. And you have to be someone that is really, you know, um, you know, getting to the point where you're just like beyond everybody else and you're doing really kind of like a lot more than everybody else and you work harder than everybody else and you, you don't, you don't let yourself, um, you don't let yourself, you know, be lazy and you, you, stri you strive to work harder. Like you have a diet that's harder than other people's diet. You have a work ethic that's tougher than everybody else's. You have, you have a drive and a creativity that's better than everybody else's. She does say that, but I really want to stress, not that I'm saying that not everybody can do this. Um, you know, obviously everyone can do this in their own way to their own ability. And there is, there is, there is, you know, hope for everybody that they can be better or that they can do something that's out of their element or that they can work really hard and get to their goal, you know, just like JLo, you know, everybody has the potential to make their dreams come true. Uh, but what I want to say is that it really is a rare person. Like JLo is a rare person, just like me. Like I do so much work, it's like a hundred videos in a day. I do 500 videos every single week or more. So you're like, you're thinking, well, you know, if I did that, I, I'd be like so tired or I'd be like, I couldn't work or I couldn't do this or I could do that. I, I'm very comfortable with that. Like that's easy for me. Like I'm very, it's like not very difficult for me to be like that. And so, you know, when, when I'm telling you guys that it's rare and that JLo is a rare person, I'm not saying that you can't be like that. Everybody, if you strive to be that way and that's the way you are, doesn't matter if you are someone that's not accustomed to it or whatever. If you are working that hard and you are able to do that, everybody's capable of doing more than they expect themselves to do. And they can be like a JLo, they can be like me. Um, I'm just saying, and I'm not saying that anybody's off limits. Everybody can do that with the capabilities. If you have a natural capability, eventually, you know, maybe you're overweight, but you lose weight or you're, you know, not fit, but you become fit, you know, and you can do these things. Yes. But I'm just saying that that's a rare kind of person. So anybody can, can lose weight. Anybody can, you know, do a lot of entertaining. Anybody could be the next superstar. But really when you see that, I'm not saying that you are not able to do that. Anybody, anybody can, anybody can find their niche and become a superstar in their own way. Anybody can use whatever resources they have to become good or great or really, really great. But I'm just saying that that's a rare thing. Not that I'm saying, like I said, if you do it, then it's a rare thing that you're doing it. But, and I don't think any of my, my, all my fans are capable of this. I think every one of my fans, doesn't matter who you are, you're capable of reaching these kind of goals. You're capable of reaching this kind of level of work ethic and all that. But, but if, and then if you guys are all like that, that's fine. But it's a rare thing, like it's a really rare thing that J-Lo is like that and that I'm like that. Like I was talking to a friend once and he was like, he was like, oh, if I did a hundred videos in a day, I would have no time. I would just take a nap. And I'm like, oh, you know, uh, but you know, and it's really kind of rare that I'm like this and that people can do these things. You know, I do so many videos at one time that it's. And for me, it's like, if I don't, I don't feel as relaxed. I, I really get relaxed when I do these videos. So, you know, when I'm doing these videos, I, I get really comfortable and I get really kind of like 
you know, in the zone and I get kind of like, I get zen, you know. And if I didn't do that, I'd just be like, you know, I would be like bored. I'd be like, what am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Like, what's wrong with me? Uh, but I wouldn't be hard on myself. I'd just be like, I should be doing this because I, I really want to, you know, I'm not, I'm equipped to do that, so why not? And it's very comfortable for me. Like, but like I said, if you're someone, maybe you're overweight or whatever, and you want to do that, you can. I really believe you can. You can lose the weight, you can get really fit, you can do lots of videos, you can be a singer, you can do whatever. I really believe it. I just think it's really rare. I'm not saying that. And I, I believe that all my fans are capable of reaching their dreams, regardless of what uh, type of dream it is. Um, but, you know, and I, I, I don't think there's any limits to that. Uh, and all my fans are probably looking at me like, I want inspiration, I want you to inspire me. So I believe any of you guys can do whatever you want and make your dreams come true. Uh, but like I said, like I'm not, and I'm, like I said, like you guys can all do whatever you want, make your dreams come true, be superstars, just like J Lo. I'm just saying that it's really rare to be like that. But I'm not saying anybody's off limits to doing that. I'm just saying like like she doesn't even eat sugars or carbs. I I I eat sugars and carbs. Like I mean, like, even like me, I'm not like as good as J Lo. I think I am as good as J Lo, but I think I'm better sometimes, and she's better sometimes. But but I mean, really, like to have a no sugar and no carb diet, I can't. I can't even imagine. I do eat whatever and I drink whatever I want. I don't limit myself, but I just portion control, you know. So I.